The Department of Material Science and Engineering was established based on the major of metal materials and heat treatment. And in 1888, the major of the metal materials and heat treatment was rated as the first batch for the key discipline in the country. Uh, and in 1994, we fully established as a school. And four years ago, we successfully settled in the Innovation Harbor, which was the new campus of our university. Uh, here, I'd like to show some uh, information about our laboratory. Uh, we have one international laboratory, which was called Characterization of the Mesoscopic Properties of Materials and its Multiscalar Effect, uh, which was also short named as 111 Project. We also have two very important laboratories. One is Statky Library of Mechanical Behavior of Materials, and the other one is International Joint Lab for Micro Nano Manufacturing and uh, Measurement Technologies. Uh, here you can see three pictures. Uh, the former two uh, are the buildings located in the Xinqing campus, and the third one is our laboratory located in the new campus, as I mentioned before, the Innovation Hub. In addition, we also have some uh, important laboratory, uh, such as the International Joint Research Center for New Materials, International Surface Engineering Research and Development Center, uh, and Histron Applied Research Center in China. We also have some important research centers, uh, such as the Shanxi uh, Province uh, Soft Materials International Joint Research Center, the Shanxi uh, Mechanism New Materials Engineering uh, Research Center, and so on. Uh, as for our staff and the students uh, here, I'd like to introduce uh, some information. Uh, Professor Sun Jun has been elected as a member of Chinese Academy of Science, which was the most important honor for researchers in China. Uh, this picture shows the information about our staff. There are nearly uh, 200 uh, teachers in MSE and more than 95% uh, of the teachers have at least one year of overseas uh, study experience. Uh, as for our student, you can see from this picture, about 22% uh, of the students are PhD students and uh, about 45% of the students are master students and uh, about one third of the students are bachelor students. Moreover, we also have 53 international graduate students. Uh, 15 international students have already got their degrees uh, at uh, our university. Uh, moreover, every year we also have 20 to 40 international students vis visit MSE for short-term academic exchange. Mm, then, uh, I want to show you some information about our research directions. There are uh, a lot of different research directions uh, in different departments. For example, we studied about the mechanical behavior of uh, materials, the surface and um, okay, the surface and interface uh, of the materials, the electronics and the spintronics. Uh, uh, we also studied about the materials preparation, such as casting and welding. Uh, in recent years, we also studied about some novel materials, such as functional materials, energy materials, and even organic materials. Uh, then uh, I will introduce these directions one by one. Okay, uh, the first research direction is uh, mechanical behavior. Uh, in this Part, we mainly focused on the deformation behaviors and the phase transition of metals. In this department, three research directions have been established. Uh, for example, we studied about the relationship between microstructures and mechanical properties. We also 
pay our um, pay our attention to the deformation and uh, phase transition of me metals uh, of and other materials at the uh, micro or nano scale and uh, research about the size effect in, the, in the, this research direction we have already published a lot of papers on the top journals such as nature and nature materials okay the second research direction is uh, electronic materials in this part we mainly focused on the fundamentals and the application of different functional materials including the advanced materials for uh, electronic and uh, energy application thin films uh, phase change materials and the spintronic materials and dielectric or ferroelectric materials. In this research direction, we also have published a lot of uh, research progress on the top juniors, such as science and nature review materials. Okay, the third research direction is about energy materials. Energy materials mainly focused on energy con conversion materials, such as the organic solar cells, proof, um, proof state solar cells, and uh, all carbon solar cells and four cells. We also pay our attention to the energy storage materials, uh, such as the liquid metal bat batteries, lithium battery materials, and uh, wearable battery materials. In these research directions, uh, our school has uh, published a lot of highly cited papers in recent years. And we also have some cooperation with the uh, famous companies such as Nibite. Okay, uh, in the field of materials processing, we have rich experience in the following areas, such as metal solidification and casting technologies, wear resistant material and the composite uh, welding technologies, as well as thermal spray coating technologies. Uh, currently, our school uh, put strong emphasis on the following research directions, such as the tribological behavior of metal and ceramic materials, the design and the characterization of uh, corrosion resistant materials, and the development and the design of 3D printing technique, uh, te techniques. Uh, okay, and so on. Um, the last research direction is about biomaterials. We focused on the fundamental research of various biometals, including, but not limited to the uh, elements such as titanium, uh, tantalum, uh, zirconium, and magne magnesium. Our strength is on the surface modification of biometals using different uh, surface treatment technology, such as uh, sputtering or oxidation to give metals with bioactive surface. As for our uh, important instrument and equipment, uh, as you can see from this picture, uh, we have transmission electron microscope, we have uh, uh, FIB uh, and the nano mechanics systems. We also have the sputtering machine and the computer clusters. Uh, MSE process a lot of laboratory instrument valued at about uh, 30 million US dollars, including some important instruments that aid in materials preparation, performance testing, and uh, structure characterization. Many machines and equipment are developed according to our special design. As the primary investigate, our discipline has achieved four second prize of National Natural Science Award, five times of uh, second prize of National Technology Invention Award, and one of the uh, second prize National Science and Technology Progress Award since 2010. MSE has published over 5,800 research papers including some top journals such as Nature Science, Nature Materials, Nature Energy, and Nature Photonics. Uh, also, uh, we have held uh, more than 800 granted pay patents. Uh, 
We also have a very strong uh, cooperation, in international cooperation all around the world. Since 2010, we have hosted more than 500 international scholars from 22 countries for academic visit. They are from the world first class universities and research institutions such as MIT, University of Cambridge, Stanford University, and UC Berkeley, and so on. Uh, okay, uh, then I'd like to show some information about MSESA. The full name of this uh, MSESA is Mature Science and Engineering Sub Islands of the University Islands of the Silk World, uh, uh, Silk Road. Uh, it was established at October 1st, 2019. Uh, the aims of this sub islands is as follow. Uh, we want to promote the spread of the Silk Road and we want to reinforce, reinforce the international cooperation. Uh, we'd like to serve for the economic construction and social development and also uh, strengthen the understanding and the friendship across different countries. Uh, and finally, uh, we want to enhance the quality of material science and engineering. Uh, there are totally uh, 33 members uh, inside these sub islands, uh, including uh, 29 universities and four companies. Uh, the president unit is Xi'an Jiao Tong University, and we also have eight standing director unit such as Tsinghua University and Beihang University and so on. In the past three years, we have held a lot of events uh, such as uh, uh, in the last three years, we hold the international workshop of mature behavior at uh, micro and nanoscale. It was held both online and offline uh, in 2020. We hold the International Forum on Advanced Materials uh, and the Silk Road International Symposium on Advanced Functional Symphium Materials and Surface Coating. Uh, we also have some wonderful activities for students. For example, we have the summer class every year, and we also have the gathering party for international students. And uh, for cooperation and communication, the sub aliens uh, can uh, give their service uh, by this means. The first one is uh, inter institute exchange, and the second one is uh, do some work about the research collaborations. We also uh, um, have some, uh, we also do some work about the nurturing talents. For example, we can organize independent or joint student exchange programs. Uh, the first, uh, we can do some work about the cultural ex exchange and the social service. Uh, okay, here is the details about the graduate admissions. Um, in this year, we have two uh, different uh, programs. One is the degree program. Uh, MSE enrolls about 15 to 20 international students for different degree programs every year. Selection of the candidates starts from November last year to April this year. Uh, we also have some uh, chance for short-term exchange programs. Uh, we promote the short-term exchange programs for research and uh, provide various funding options. If you have some interest, please contact us for more details. Uh, finally, I'd like to share some uh, excellent students for you. Uh, the first student have got his PhD degree in, uh, in 2020. Now he is doing postdoc research in Korea during his studying in our uh, school. He has published one paper as the first author and two papers as the co-author. All the three articles are junior uh, covers. Here is a photo of this student and his supervisor is Professor Zhang Wei, which was a very uh, famous professor. And the second uh, student is Mohammed. He has uh, 
got his master degree in Xi'an Jiao Tong University, and now he is doing his PhD research in our school. Um, during his study uh, in Xi'an Jiao Tong University, he has got a lot of different scholarship and uh, uh, the excellent student award. Um, he has published uh, six papers as the first author and five papers as the co-author on the international journals. And uh, these two students have got their uh, PhD degree uh, last year. Currently, they both doing their postdoc research in China. One is in Shenzhen University, and uh, the other one is in the University of Jiangsu. During their study in our school, they both got the Chinese government scholarship. And here, uh, these two students are classmates. Uh, they got their master degree in Xi'an Jiao Tong University, and now the couple is in Pakistan. During their studying in our school, they got their Chinese government scholarship and published one paper as the first author. Now the couple both got the um, good job back to Pakistan. Okay, we also have a lot of uh, wonderful uh, activities for international students. For example, we have the international get together party and the Chinese and foreign students get together party. Uh, we also have some football game in summer. Okay, thanks for your attention. And again, um, welcome to Xi'an Jiao Tong University uh, and build your dream at MSE. That's all, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot to Professor Hua Jingfang's very detailed introduction, even including uh, the current students in MSE. Uh, well, it's very impressive that MSE offers not only a high quality of educational resource, but also they organize a very uh, fruitful daily life for both Chinese and international students. Well, after uh, Professor Hua Jingfang's introduction, I believe that you get much more interested in joining XJTU and MSE. So uh, in the second part, I will uh, tell you about our scholarship program and uh, how to join us by online application. So let me uh, share my presentation. Okay, I think uh, Professor Hua Jingfeng have almost covered uh, the introduction part of the XJTU and the MSE. So I'll just uh, skip to the part of how to join us. Yeah. Okay. So speaking of the uh, the first part is the scholarship program. Well, as Professor Hua Jingfeng have introduced, the School of MSE is uh, mainly enrolling master and PhD students, the postgraduate level. But uh, well, actually in our university, we have a quite a comprehensive system from bachelor to master to PhD, and also a quite corresponding scholarship system, starting by the bachelor level. So first of all, it comes to the international freshman scholarship. It's for the bachelors. And as you can see from the slide that this is this is divided into three different levels according to your uh, performance during the application and selection. The first level will be an exemption of all the tuition fee and the second and third level will be a 50% and 30% exemption of the tuition fee of your first year's bachelor study. And uh, all these three levels will be a plus of a monthly living allowance from 800 to 1500 RMB per month. That's for the venture. And when it comes to the non-degree and postgraduate level, as you can see from the slide, uh, we have uh, four major scholarships. The first one is maybe the, the most one familiar one with you guys, the CSC scholarship, the Chinese government scholarship. As Professor Hua Jingfeng have mentioned, few students from MSC have also got this CSC scholarship to sponsor their postgraduate studies. So in XJTU, the Chinese government scholarship is mainly for the postgraduate students, which means the master and PhD. The scholarship content will be a free tuition and accommodation, and there will be a comprehensive medical insurance and a monthly living allowance, which is uh, 3,000 for our uh, uh, master per month, and 3,500 for PhD. And besides the CSC scholarship, it's the XJTU Suyuan scholarship and the Xi'an Belt and Road scholarship. These two scholarships are also mainly for the postgraduate level, but still will cover the bachelor level. 
uh, the XBTU student scholarship will be a free tuition and a monthly living allowance of 1,700 RMB. The Xi'an Belt and Road Scholarship is uh, offered by the Xi'an city government. And there will also be a monthly living allowance divided into two levels. Uh, in XJTU, uh, we actually upgraded this scholarship into uh, free tuition, which means you get Xi'an Belt and Road Scholarship in XJTU. Besides the monthly allowance, you will still get a free tuition fee. And the last one is the International Chinese Language Teacher Scholarship. This is for the Chinese language studies. If you are interested in one year, one semester, or four week Chinese language study, you can also apply for this one. So uh, before applying to XJTU, you have to check our basic requirements, the criteria for all the applicants. So for the bachelor, you can see from the slide that we uh, have a basic eligibility, which is 18 to 25 years of age and in a good health, of course. And the second one is the valid foreign ordinary passport. And you have to get a high school or advanced diploma, which means you have to uh, finish your secondary education in your country. The last one is the Chinese proficiency, because all, almost all of our venture program is offered in Chinese language. So we are requiring your Chinese proficiency to be above HSK4 with a score of 180 and a minimum of 60 in all the subskills. You can see that the application time is now already started from November 15th, 2022, last year, to June 30th, 2023. Uh, there will be an admission review, which means we uh, will go through your application documents and maybe we will still organize an online interview. That's all for the venture level. For master and PhD, as you can see, the eligibility is quite uh, similar to bachelor, but there is a different uh, diploma and age requirement. For the master applicants, you have to firstly get a bachelor diploma and be under 35 years of age. For the doctoral applicant, then you have to get a master diploma and be under 40 years of age. The application schedule is from November 1st last year to April 15th, 2023. But if you are, uh, I personally suggest you to finish your application before the end of February, February 28, 2023, because that's the deadline for the CSC scholarship application. And uh, here is some special attention for doctoral applicants. Uh, from last year on, we are suggesting students to firstly contact professors and uh, try for the recommendation letter if you can uh, be accepted by the professor. And you can find the detailed program list uh, of masters and PhDs in our school's website. The foundation program is also offered in XJTU, which means you uh, it's like a gap study between the high school and venture. After you finish your high school and you want to get better prepared for the venture study, then you can apply for this foundation program. So here is, the, I think, the most important part of the application procedure is your documents. What you have to prepare before you uh, apply online. So first of all, it's the original highest diploma. Uh, well, for example, if you're applying for PhD, then you have to get your master diploma ready. And the second one is your original transcript in the latest study period. Still, if you're applying for PhD, then we need your master diploma and transcript. The third one is your certificate of language proficiency. Uh, if you are trying for the Chinese taught programs, uh, then we need HSK. But if you're trying for English taught programs like uh, what's offered in MSE, well, you have to give us a language proficiency certificate in your current university. Uh, besides that, we still accept uh, IELTS and TOEFL. You only have to give us one out of the three documents that's acceptable. You don't have to give all the three certificates. The next one is your uh, passport, the valid ordinary passport. And after that is the uh, physical examination record. This record has a format and it can be downloaded from our school's website. And uh, be besides the documents, there is still an application fee. You have to pay 500 RMB for the self-sponsor program, which means if you're a uh, self-sponsor and pay for all the tuition and accommodation, all the costs by yourself, then you have to pay 500. Uh, if you want to apply for scholarship, then the application fee is 800 RMB. And uh, there are a few notes for uh, you guys while preparing the documents. The first one is all the documents have to be scanned and uploaded into the system because now all the application is finished and will be evaluated in the online application system. 
So please make sure that your documents is scanned. At least it's clear enough for us to review because we used to check uh, documents from applicants that is too blurry. We, we cannot see it. So we have to return the application. The second note is that the incomplete applications will be rejected. By incomplete, we mean you fail to upload the required uh, documents or you failed to uh, fill in the personal information and study plan in the application system. Uh, well, we will not directly reject your application, but we will give you a chance, just one chance to return the application to you and revise it, and you can resubmit the application. But after the resubmission, if the application is still incomplete, then you will be rejected. The last note is that the, all the documents have to be in Chinese or English versions. Uh, we understand that you might give us documents made in Spanish or Russian language or other languages, but uh, we only accept Chinese or English. So if your documents are made in those languages, please make sure that it's translated and notarized into Chinese or English. And here is uh, how you start your application in the system. As you can see this in the middle part is the link to our application system. Uh, now all the applications uh, dealt with in the online system. And so the first one for uh, the step for you is to register, to create your account in the online application system. And the second step is to fill in the information, including your personal information, your study plan, and uh, your background details. The third step is to upload all the documents I've just mentioned into the system. The fourth step is to pay the application fee, either 500 or 800. Then your application will be completed. We are going to review your documents and organize online interview. And the further notice will be given to you by email or by the system message. So we, uh, in case that you cannot uh, follow the steps or cannot understand fully, uh, we have an online application guide in our uh, school's website. You can download from this part. There is an application guide and Q&A, a PDF document to get you step-by-step step how to finish your application. So at last, uh, how to contact us? Uh, actually, besides the, the traditional telephone, fax, email, and website, uh, we are now opening official account on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, like today's webinar is going to be, uh, the video will be recorded and uploaded into the YouTube and the following webinar schedule will be posted on Instagram and Facebook. So you are suggested to find us and follow us on these three platforms to get the latest information. And we're also going to post some uh, admission programs and the university information on these three platforms as well. On the right part is the QR code of our admission Q&A group. So if you want to uh, ask any questions, you can join this group and there will be teachers in the group to answer. Uh, I think this might be the most uh, direct way to get in touch with us. So uh, if you're interested, you can scan this QR code and join us to ask your questions. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much all I want to introduce and uh, welcome to join XJTU again. So uh, after Professor Hua Jingfang and my introduction, I believe you should have some uh, basic idea of the study and application to XJTU. So uh, before we uh, finish today's session, I, I think me and Professor Hua Jingfang will be here to answer some of your questions. Uh, if you have any uh, query, you can tap in the chatting room and we will uh, check the questions and select the questions to answer. Okay, so let, let me check the chatting room. There is already some messages. Oh, okay, so the first one is the acceptance letter. Well, uh, we do suggest students for master and PhD to contact professors in advance, but it is not necessary for you to all get an acceptance letter. Well, it's going to help your uh, application, of course, but it's not a, a mandatory for all of you to get one. Because after your application is completed, we're going to reevaluate uh, the first step and we'll transfer your documents to different schools. So either way, your documents will be evaluated by the school as long as you complete your application. And I also see questions for other majors and programs. I, I will here again share my uh, slide. 
here. I think it's better for you to, yeah, it's better for you to go to our school's website here, sie.xjpu.edu.cm slash em. Uh, we have both Chinese and English website and all the program list is posted on the website for you to check because we have uh, quite a wide range of education programs, as you can see here. Uh, the nine major subjects and 31 schools in XJTU are all hiring or enrolling international students. You can choose from a, quite a comprehensive range of what you want to study and what you can study. Yes, uh, my colleague is sharing the website in the chat room for you uh, for your information. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Oh, du uh, sorry, uh, the question was asked last time. The Duolingo uh, is still not acceptable. We are only recognizing the language certificate from your current university, IELTS, and TOEFL. There's three documents. You can choose one from the out of the three. Uh, I, I, checked, I think I see a few questions about contacting the professors. Uh, still, uh, the contacts of professors and different schools can be found in the different schools website. You can firstly go to the XJTU's website and find the corresponding school, and they all have a separate and different English website. And on the school's website, there will be a list of the professors for you to contact. Well, if you have com uh, completed your previous study in English language, then you have to ask your university or institute to give you a proof of your English education, just proving you have completed your education in English and can be educated in the English language, that's fine. Uh, still guys, if you're interested in other schools uh, programs, you are suggested to go to the our school's website to check the uh, program list. And oh, one more thing I want to mention is for the scholarship programs application. Uh, the CSE Pro scholarship might be the most wanted by you guys. So if you want to try for the Chinese government scholarship, then you have to complete your application before uh, February 28th which means you still have nearly two months of time to complete your application. And uh, if you failed, if you cannot be selected for the CSE, um, we still will automatically cons consider you for the XJTU Suyuan Scholarship and Xi'an Belt and Road Scholarship. So I personally, I just think it's the best option for you to apply uh, for CSE and uh, Suyuan and Belt and Road all in one time before February 28th. Uh, so far for the application fee, we do not have any discount or waiver. It's uh, all the same for all the applicants, which is 500 for self-sponsor and 800 for the scholarship programs. Well, application fee is uh, it's a set criteria or set standard for years. Well, we, we have been doing this for, uh, and it's officially confirmed by the university. I think uh, the other Chinese universities might be pretty much the same. And uh, one more thing I want to mention is that if you are trying for the CSE scholarship, then you have to apply for two times, which means you have to firstly apply in the CSE portal and get your CSE application form. You can download the form and upload with all the other application documents into our university's system. It's a two-step application. Firstly, in the CSE portal, and then in the university portal. Then that's complete. Uh, for those of you who have applied, uh, there will be an uh, interview in March, I think, because the deadline for us to report the recommended students for CSE is the end of March. So during that month, we are going to uh, organize the interview. So if there is any further notice on the interview or any further information, we are going to email you or uh, notify you by the system message.
Well, we are treating the the language proficiency certificate all the same as the IELTS and uh, TOEFL. You do not have to worry about that. Uh, speaking of the application documents, I think the most uh, important part is for you to get your diploma, transcript, and study plan. You, especially in the postgraduate level for masters and PhDs, you better prepare your study plan and uh, fully elaborate and tell us what you want to research in in the next level. I think that's the most persuasive part of your academic ability. Well, the speaking of the chance of admission, I well, I, I cannot give you any guarantee or a, a, a number. I just think uh, most of the students can get admitted as long as you uh, complete your application and uh, pass the online interview organized by different schools. I think this year uh, for CSC scholarship, students can only apply for one university. You cannot try for uh, other university once you have completed. Uh, for example, you have uh, completed your application in CSC portal for XJTU, then you cannot try for other universities, I think. So you can think through be be before you uh, apply to any university. And for the CSC scholarship, I want to, yeah, I will give you an introduction of CSC scholarship in XJTU. This year we have 100 uh, seats to recommend students. Uh, by recommendation, we mean that if you're recommended, that does not mean you will get the scholarship because the CSC policy has changed since last year. Uh, all the Chinese universities have uh, will recommend their students to the CSC and up CSC will organize a national selection by a selection committee to all the students recommended by all the Chinese universities. So once you're recommended, that means you will get further evaluated, but not directly got the scholarship. Uh, only after you pass the national selection, then you will get the CSC scholarship. The data from last year in XJTU is that we have recommended 50 students and 47 got the CSC scholarship. And this year we're still going to select the top 100 students to uh, be recommended to CSC. And we will try as much as possible. Well, the CSC does, the, the, the CSC do have the, the undergraduate program, but only in XJTU, we are mainly focused on the master and PhD level. If you want to apply for the undergraduate program in CSC, you can go to the CSC website and uh, apply in their portal for the undergraduate uh, program, but not in the university system. Well, again, we have 100 seats for the CSC program. So well, I think that's pretty much the, the most seats among the Chinese universities. I think uh, other few universities may also have 100 seats, but it's less than 10 universities have this number. So I think uh, it's uh, quite a big possibility for you to try here in XJTU. Well, it's 100 seats for the whole university, not only MSE. <laughs> if it's only for MSE, then Professor Hua Jingfeng will be super happy. <laughs> it's for the whole university, which means uh, here, are all the subjects and schools I mentioned here in XJTU, can all be considered and will all be uh, calculated into the 100 seats. So if you're applying for master and PhD level in all these schools and subjects, you will all get a chance, but you have to complete your application before February 28th. Okay, just uh, the most important thing is to complete the application, right? Uh, if you cannot complete your application on time, then uh, it's impossible. I can only tell you that. Uh, yeah, I see Professor Fong have also shared the link of the MSE school. I think uh, if you're interested, you can just uh, go to the school and check the information. Oh, I should stop my sharing. Okay. Uh, well, I do not know about other universities' uh, CSCCs, but uh, I I only answer about XJTU. If you are interested in other university, you can uh, 
I think they're also arranging such online webinars or uh, activities. You can join them to ask. Okay, I think maybe, uh, oh, one last thing is that I want to share with you again, because this, uh, this webinar is taking turns by schools. So uh, we used to have schools of energy and power engineering, school of management, a different field schools. <clears throat> I'll finish this webinar to introduce them to you, but we still have following like school of economics and finance and uh, uh, school of medicine to give you the uh, online webinar in this month and uh, February. So if you're interested in the schedule, then you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook to uh, where we will post the schedule of the following webinars. And you can follow us and on the YouTube, you can check our recording of all the completed webinars to get the information you need. Yeah, thanks to my colleague. And this is our page on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So I think uh, maybe, uh, yeah, it's almost the time and that's pretty much everything we want to share with you. Uh, as this is the application season, uh, I ho hope to see your application soon in our system. And I wish all of you good luck uh, to uh, be admitted to XJTU in 2023 because this is a special year when we can finally meet you in person because in the last three years, the students have been keeping asking me about when they can come to China. Well, in this year, our border is finally officially open and by September, I believe that we can see you in person. Uh, especially if you are trying for MSc, then you maybe you can see Professor Hua Jingfeng also in person. Uh, so it's a brand new year for the uh, studying in China also. Uh, we hope you good luck and uh, hope to see you in September in XJTU. And thank you again for joining us in today's webinar. And uh, if you want to follow us on the future webinars, you can go to our Facebook and Instagram page. Thanks again. And a special thanks to Professor Hua Jingfeng to uh, introduce the MSE to us. Thanks again and hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.